Here's my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting of my soul. Bread from heaven, feed me till I want no more. Here's my cup, fill it up and make me. Hallelujah and glory to your name, Father Yahuwah. Father, we just give you glory. We give you honor. We magnify your holy name. Holy Father, we want to be made whole. We want to eat the bread of life, Father. We want to drink from the wellspring of living waters, Heavenly Father. We want your heavenly mana, Father. We want our cup to be filled to the brim, Heavenly Father running over but not wasting holy father help us in our mind and our hearts to be full of your holy spirit help us heavenly father to be rid of everything that defiles our temples heavenly father let us understand the beauty of your creation father yahuwah let us understand the importance of taking care of what you have fearfully and wonderfully made for your glory father to serve you to bring you honor and glory father simply father to come here to do your will and your purpose let us not be tainted father by any of any of the king's meat let our vision and our hearing not be hindered by things that pollute the temple father we ask you father to Father, to fully restore, to cleanse, to renew, to revive this day and forevermore. And may we serve, Father, for the purpose of your glory, for your honor, and your praise. And it is in the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach that I give this prayer and this word in your name for your glory to magnify your kingdom, Father. Remove everything from me, Father, that is of self and allow your Holy Spirit to thoroughly give me the deliverance of this message for your people that they may eat father that they may drink from that which you have provided and it's in yahushua hamashiach's holy name i give the father in heaven all glory honor and praise amen brothers and sisters i have just received another yet another profound revelation from the most high father this actually started on august the 20th but I received the full understanding of this this morning and it's just totally amazing I just I'm just I'm just uh, I can't tell you I got the, the Holy Spirit all over me right now it's truly amazing guys what father's doing and I had to do exactly what he instructed me to do with the last message uh, message which is take it one step at a time be still wait for him to lead me to each bite of what he has been feeding me over the past week and in order to get the full understanding of this message, I had to wait and listen. It took four days of waiting and listening and being patient. But the revelation is truly divine, brothers and sisters. And it began with a green smoothie that Father allowed me to know was beneficial to my health. Since January 2019, Father's had me transitioning in my diet and began to minister. He began to minister to me about what I was putting into my body okay and how I needed an internal cleansing both spiritually and physically so throughout 2019 I was I was being purged from desires and cravings from certain foods through the Holy Spirit and father was teaching me how to take care of my temple my goodness brothers and sisters our bodies are the literal dwelling place of the father in heaven of the most high father 
Yahushua HaMashiach and the Holy Spirit please understand that the structure of the temple that is spoken of in Exodus and in Ezekiel it represents first and foremost Christ but also the human body y'all come on the vessels within that father commanded to be skillfully made within the temple for service to him to serve him they represent our internal organs each have a function to spiritually connect us divinely to the most high father to serve him it is in scripture okay please search the scriptures and directly commune with the father in heaven father yahuwah for divine discernment on what i just said because that is a mouthful already we must be careful of what we let into our bodies y'all as this is associated with our spiritual condition and it serves as a catalyst for our spiritual health please if you have to stop right there please stop the video and please try to just digest that so anyway as i said in 2019 during that time father called me to do a he called me to do a seven day liquid fast and as a kickstart to being purified inside and out so i was drawn more to smoothies and i began to get this smoothie that tasted good but it contained ice cream so that was not beneficial at all to my health you know short term or long term neither was good because it would counteract what the cleansing process was doing for me and so he began to speak to me um and show me that i needed green vegetables and fruit to clear out my system which is where the smoothie comes in right so after consistently having a green smoothie which over time i was led to the perfect concoction of ingredients um of fruits and vegetables just packed into one cup and it was complete and it was good and i continually you know i continually bought this smoothie i craved it um and i began to notice changes in my countenance my outer appearance um my skin began to have a glow to it and there was so much more that goes along with this but i'm not about to elaborate on those details because this is not about vanity i need you to understand this was not just about having a smoothie um the health benefits of what was in this one cup made my spirit joyful and i was happier <laughs> because my focus was being shifted toward taking care of my temple and being restored Okay, so moving on to August 2020, uh, Father's had me take some major leaps of faith this year. One being uh, me resigning from my job for his will to do full-time ministry. And another being a 40-day liquid fast, which I just made it through by his grace and his strength and his mercy and nothing else. That's how I made it through this. And this was a major part of the gradual uh, cleansing and purification and refinement process that he has been taking me through. So I had to do this in order to proceed to do Father's will. So I, I had to include this portion about my fast in this video because Father showed me uh, in a dream that the Holy Spirit was pushing the reset button on my life. So in the coming videos, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna explain what this all means as it was concerning my health and my life, but also as it concerns us as a people for the Father, um, our ascension up and into His holy mountain, into the holy of holies. Oh Lord, when I completed this fast, um, Father showed me in a dream my restored body, mm. and he always he showed me myself three times he showed me once in 2019 and twice um, a few days ago and I'm always dressed in pink and pink represents righteousness because the blood of Christ is red and it cleanses you and when the blood of Christ washes you you become white as snow and when you put white and red together you get pink so it represents righteousness and cleanliness 
and in this one particular dream he showed me two dreams in one night of myself being in peak but in one particular dream I was in a convenience store going to buy buttermilk <laughs> remember that I was going to buy milk so anyways after completing this uh, 40 day fast um, you know after some time of having only liquids in my body I wanted to break my fast with this smoothie that I had been led to and for more reasons than many I had it every day for breakfast for the past week I've had this smoothie um, after being able to eat again and it was about the third or fourth day when you know I was drinking this smoothie I was in my car and I literally felt a reaction internally it was very distinct and uh, it was like a, I felt a spark go through my body with a tingle um, I felt a peace a joy a happiness I literally felt a reviving taking place in my body as I was drinking this smoothie so I began to uh, really listen to the Holy Spirit to what was taking place right then and there and I got an understanding that this was Father giving me another revelation, another word, but I did not understand it in its fullness at the time. And I was making spiritual notations of what was happening, and I began to describe it as, I began to describe it as such, and I'm about to tell you, I compared it to, um, I compared it to the wellspring of life because when we come to find Christ we taste and we see that he is good and we began to long and thirst for more and we want to continue to drink from this one cup because everything we everything contained in this cup is what my body needed to begin to thrive again and the fact that it is green in color it reminded me that green in the spirit is life remember Psalm 23 he making me to lie down in green pastures it, it means cleanliness it means life and this very way that I crave holy Yahushua in my life listen to me this is how I crave him in my this is how this is how I crave him in my life and how we each or to thirst for him he is the wellspring of life he is the perfection he is the it factor and I have to have him my temple needs him to thrive nothing else can substitute for holy Yahushua nothing else is gonna do and each time like each time that I eat of his mana his word and I drink from the, the wellspring of life I want more my spirit reacts to his feeling <laughs> do y'all hear what I'm saying which is the Holy Spirit it is the spark it is the electricity it is the tingle the nutrients that are being um, that are uh, being poured into my body spiritually physically um, it represents the Ruach HaKadosh being poured into my spirit and it <laughs> I called and I shared this with my sister as this was happening. This is what I was. Com this is how I described it as I was comparing this to my relationship with Christ. But in all this, I knew that the the, the full understanding of this revelation it was it was not yet complete. So I had to go home. I had to meditate on all this and let this really uh, marinate in my spirit, and also wait for Father to grant the revelation in Scripture. So I had to chew on my food like he told me in the last word, like he instructed us to do in the last revelation, to chew on it, to meditate on the portion he had already given me and just be still and wait for him to speak. He had granted me um, a hint of the scripture, you know, in, from the book of Isaiah that morning through another sister in Christ through a message that she had to speak, but I was distracted. And I didn't quite hear exactly where where in the book of Isaiah, excuse me, nor um, the words spoken from that part of the scripture or that part of her message. So later that afternoon, like I went to pray and to be still before Father, um, 
to understand where he wanted me to search in Isaiah because it had been tugging at my spirit all day. And just as I sat down on the floor in my room, uh, within not even five minutes, he allowed me to directly, uh, I mean, excuse me, indirectly, it wasn't directly, he allowed me to indirectly find the passage in Isaiah, and it was from Isaiah 55, verses 1 through 3. And it says, Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters, and he that hath no money, come ye, buy and eat. Yea, come and buy wine and milk without money and without price. He says, Wherefore do you spend for that which is not bread? And he that hath no money, come ye buy and eat. I'm sorry, that's not what it says. It says, And your labor for that which satisfieth not. He says, hearken diligently unto me and eat ye that which is good and let your soul delight in fatness. Incline your ear and come unto me here and your soul shall live and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. And so even with that, <laughs> I still knew that it wasn't complete so I had to wait a little bit longer and now here we are five days later and then my quiet time this morning in my prayer closet he allowed me to understand the fullness of this revelation through the first chapter of Daniel and this brought it home because in that chapter Daniel and Shadrach excuse me Daniel and um, while well, I'll call them by their names I, I believe it was Michelle uh, Azariah, Daniel, and Hananiah. That's their Hebrew names. I like to call them by their Hebrew names because the other names were the Babylonian names that they received, which um, represent the false gods that they worship. But brothers and sisters, I know this is a little lengthy, but I had to explain it. This is the full revelation of what Father's saying. He's saying our diet symbolizes our spiritual craving. And what you are what are you introducing into your temple? You know, are you eating the king's meat? Because in that story, those four men were chosen out of the uh, captives from Judah, and they asked the the eunuch Daniel plead. He his his um, plea was that in 10 days you know for 10 days to let them not eat of, the, eat of the king's meat but let them eat of pulse which is vegetables a vegetarian diet and drink water because that meat the king's meat they offered this meat to idols and they sacrificed it so it would pollute their bodies and their commitment was to the most high father and after 10 days when they came to stand before the king, their countenance was ten times better than the magicians and the astrologers and all those who had eaten from the king's table. Because you know why they rely on the Most High Father. He was their sustenance. It wasn't the meat. It was him. It was Christ. The vegetation was Christ. So this is the revelation. I'm just going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it as Father had granted me. I'm, hold on. I'm going to read it as Father had granted me. And it says, Our diet symbolizes our spiritual cravings and what we are introducing into our temples. Are you eating the king's meat, which leaves room for defilement and pollution? The king's meat was sacrificed to idols. So are you craving what looks desirable to an earthly king because it appears to give more sustenance, which is the worldly desires? Or are you craving or eating the pulse? or drinking from the wellspring of life coming to the everlasting supply of waters. It says purchasing fresh wine and milk that costs you nothing because the price has already been paid. That comes from Isaiah 55. Listen closely. It says Christ is the substance, the pulse, the vegetation, the it factor, the perfection to your spiritual diet and your physical diet and nothing else will do. Do you crave him? When you eat of his mana, which is his word, and drink from the wellspring 
your body the temple the vessels within the temple for serving the most high father which represents your internal organs and your glands they will crave him our temple and the spirit within reacts to the spark of the holy spirit the tingle is the electricity the power of yah through his spirit because the because of the feeling, the sustenance, the nutrition we receive from Father's heavenly mana, it gives us inner peace, it gives us happiness, it gives us joy, wisdom, and understanding, and the counsel we need to become stable, founded, and secure, not lacking or wanting. Just like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, the pulse they ate was Christ which is the vegetation and the water they drank was the living waters when they refused the king's meat which looked hearty but was damaging to the body and the spirit nor satisfying and it had no long term benefits remember I told y'all about the ice cream smoothie that I was getting it had no benefits for me it was more damaging than it was harm and it says, when we choose what seems to be less desirable in the eyes of man, which is Christ. Father grants us the knowledge and the skill and the wisdom and the understanding that sustains us everlasting. Which makes us stronger as we stand before kings and idols and temptations. And our countenance is Holy Yahushua, the glory of the Most High Father Yahuwah. He rests and shines up on us and we are ten times better than that of magicians and astrologers in parentheses this is talking about the evil one which is the enemy and those that deal falsely with father's word to hold his children in captivity it says because we're ten times better because we are not drunken with the king's portion of wine and meat so what does this mean right Isaiah 55 1-3 this is not only about your, your physical diet, but the sovereignty of Yah and his blessings for spiritual commitment to him. The vegetarian diet was superior to the king's table and it represents the spiritual and the physical cleansing. So brothers and sisters, what are you eating? Is it the bread of life, which is everlasting, or and the, with the benefits thereof, or is it the king's meat? which satisfieth not are you listening to him and him alone to delight yourself in his fatness in his abundance or are you eating well are you eating that which is good is the questions that were dropped in my spirit are you inclining your ear to him so that you can so that your soul can be satisfied and live do you want an everlasting covenant with him the sure mercies of David and what that means is that that is the everlasting salvation, the help, the sustenance, no matter what your trials and your persecution, you have that which satisfies in all circumstances, which is holy Yahushua. It is Christ, the beloved son of the most high father. It is he which satisfieth. All praises and glory to the father, Yah father, Yahuwah in heaven for this powerful revelation brothers and sisters i pray that you take this straight to the throne and ask the father to give you clarity if you don't understand but i pray that you really if you have to listen to this twice please do if you feel led to share please share it but this is so powerful this is direct divine from the most high father and i pray and i give him the glory the honor and the praise and i lift up his holy name for everything that he gives me brothers and sisters and i pray that this has blessed you i love you all in christ and until next time be blessed